Hello, this is Tracy Hitchens from Landmark. You're watching Live Prog. <laughs> Hello Marcel, it's really great to see you again. How are you doing? I'm great, I'm yeah, great. I'm really looking forward to tonight. Yeah. I can imagine <laughs> that. Uh, you've been playing in Holland an awful lot all of a sudden. Well, yeah, we're, we're making ourselves sing now, so it's it's starting hopefully to, to snowball a little bit, you know, to get people out there, you know, cold, to get, get them out in the cold and come and see us, because yeah. numbers, have been, numbers have been a little bit down on Progressive Rock, haven't they? That's true. Yeah, That's true, so, so. Um, hopefully we can encourage them to come out, because we've not been Definitely. out for a long time, but we've started now. Sounds that's good. that's good. That's yeah. good. It's it's nice, you know, <laughs> to to see that landmark is back. Yeah. You have this really yes. short, this really beautiful oh. album out, yeah. uh, entertaining angels. Uh, now I had a chat with the boys already, so I know a little bit about uh, the music and about uh, a bit of the, the idea behind the title. Um, but I'm I'm a bit interested, you know, the songs. I mean, you write the lyrics. I write the lyrics yeah. and I write the um, vocal arrangements, melodies. And yeah. you know, and uh, but we all write, so we collaborate. You know, yeah. but my main job is uh, is always going to be the uh, the vocal melody lines and arrangements yeah. and, and lyrics because that's obviously what I specifically do. But um, they they you know Steve writes as well. He does vocal melody arrangements as well. Yeah, and uh, and do you know I just probably do a bit more because I'm the singer. Yeah, you know? of course. Yeah, so yeah. I'm I'm a bit curious. I mean, how do you look at this album now when it's finished and it's out, it's ready? Um, how do you feel about it? I think it's, it, for, for me, it's a great piece of art. I have to say that because it's born of something that's it's changed me personally. Uh, because when it started out, I was in quite another place in my life. Mm -hmm. And and then uh, um, uh, I was having always a great life with the singing, but really deep down inside, I wasn't a terribly happy person. Yeah. Um, I feel, you know, we all struggle, don't we? We all, mm -hmm. we all have true. things. We all have our demons, I suppose. Yeah. And, um, uh, I, I then eventually fell ill because I wasn't really treating myself well. I wasn't mm -hmm. loving myself enough, apparently. <laughs> so you, you, you just important. get things happen, you know. Like yeah. I've had different diseases in my life, mm -hmm. strange and fascinating diseases. Okay. And then I ended up with uh, the cancer, breast cancer and ovarian yeah. cancer, and that, you know. And obviously something had to change because it's, mm -hmm. when something like that does happen, it, it you know you, you view life quite differently, and you start to that. take it a bit more seriously. Yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, so that's been quite cathartic because of, of um, finding out I had it and we still went forward with the album. We went up to the studio, it took us such a long time to get the whole thing together anyway, yeah. as, you, as you well know, that's a, a story out there now. But we got up there and I was just coping with the, with the programme I was on because as you know, I, I don't believe in uh, chemotherapy or radiotherapy, I think they're killers. Yeah. And the pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical companies are uh, destructive, destroyers. Of human beings, mm -hmm. so I did the Dr. Helga Ruger Clark program, mm -hmm. which is a natural program. It's an exact science, yeah. but it takes from, it's a much more natural program. Mm -hmm. it doesn't use harsh chemical or carcinogenic chemical. So it took two and a half years, but okay. I, we started recording the album, and I was just on my program within a couple of months, I believe. And I just couldn't handle recording, mm -hmm. but we did record okay. Personal Universe, yeah. and that's okay. left as it was. So I, I listened to it, I thought, well, actually, I was singing fine, but I didn't think okay. I was. Yeah. In, in my head, I thought I just couldn't cope with it. I just had to get well yeah. first, do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? So, so then another however many years went by, because everyone goes off to do something. Yeah. They need to, they, they, have to work. Yeah. they have to work. So getting us together all at once was a real, a real thing, a real yeah. thing. But then we came to recording it finally, mm -hmm. and the songs started to shift a little bit and change, and the flavouring in them. I started to see things differently, and as an example, um, uh, uh, glowing. Yeah. Uh, part one has stayed pretty much as I wrote that uh, lyrically and, and mm -hmm. um, melody-wise, vocal arrangement. Part two, when I started to sing it in the studio, Steve Rispin mm -hmm. said, kind of like said, Trace, what are you doing? <laughs> I went, I was singing it. He goes, it's horrible. <laughs> Thanks. It's horrible. He goes, it's not you. It's, it's angry. I said, yeah, I know. It's meant to be. It's my anger because I know yeah. why I got ill. Mm -hmm. I, I know why. I know. I know why. I know 
the people I felt upset with. He goes, yeah. let it go. He said, this isn't you. He goes, get upstairs, rewrite it. So I went upstairs, because <laughs> <Okay. laughs> we was on a farm recording in yeah. a lovely studio. And I went upstairs to the little flat I was staying in during the time for recording. Mm -hmm. And I kind of completely rewrote the whole thing. It was pretty much the same melody, but yeah. the melody softened okay. that my approach was singing it. Yeah. And it became this kind of love song. Okay. <laughs> and the whole thing changed. So it was very, very cathartic having gone through that. Because yeah. I realised that, that I'd overcome the cancer when, when we recorded it, but I still hadn't let go of some things, which you have to. Mm -hmm. You have to forgive and yeah. let go, because otherwise your disease is... Yeah. So yeah, yeah so it okay. did change. It did change some lyrics. It did reshape some it, the approach towards things. And then that that cathartic mm -hmm. day of going back and re-recording the next day, yeah. so I rewrote it, and um, it it just like lifted everything. And this album just felt really nice. For your feelings that you can put them in the music. Of course, yeah. absolutely, yeah, okay. yeah. Oh, definitely. I, I, you know, I was asked a question earlier about that. Um, you know, are your own stories in there? Are your own emotions? I think you have a little mixture of a bit of fantasy that yeah. comes in because it's a creative aspect of, of it. Yeah. But um, it, it's definitely determined. It, it, definitely determined by the way I live because mm -hmm. I live far better now that we've done this album and I yeah. live far better since okay. I've become and that they're all part of your spiritual journey I suppose yeah. aren't they? Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. yeah. Okay well that, that's very nice to hear and we're I'm very happy that you're feeling better now. And I do feel yeah. better. Yes. Um, you also did uh, a part for Clive Nolan recently <laughs> for Alchemy. Yes. Uh, how was it to do that? Was it much different than what you do with Landmark? Yes, it was very different. It was taking part in like a musical and um, although the way that he presented this musical to get it out there, it's a noise behind us. <laughs> um, it, it, I was taking the part of the, of the house, the head housemaid, yeah. and I was dressed up like the head housemaid. <laughs> okay. But it was done. I forget the word now, but it was done in this particular way. It was um, you still had um, artistic license to do your hair nice and do your yeah. lipstick? Do you know what I mean? So okay. I didn't have my hair up on a bun and a you know or anything like that. I still had to have long hair, but I still had to have the apron on to mm -hmm. define yeah. who I was. So I looked. A little bit like a frumpy old lady. Okay. <laughs> but the part was quite a big angry part because yeah. she's head housemaid and she's very angry and upset for the situation. But and I was on stage for six minutes. And uh, yeah. so yes, uh, but it was funny because I was so ill when I flew out to Poland. Mm -hmm. so I just come off the landmark gigs, a small space of time. And I came down with the worst flu ever from being out in Europe in the freezing cold in January and February. Mm -hmm. So no more dates in January and February for me, that's it. <laughs> I've had enough of January and February. I can imagine that. <laughs> yeah, and then I flew out to Poland with no voice. So Clive was saying, oh my God, what are we going to do? Yeah. You know, you just have to mime it and then we're going to have to take you back in the studio. <laughs> so about an hour before our rehearsing, or however long it was, it just came back. Okay. And then when we flew home, it went away again. Oh. It kind of started, you know? It started, but you just had... It, you there was like a performance. window, like Bob said, all right then, we'll give it, we'll just let it go. Yeah, I'm like, God, <laughs> the universal energies and sources yeah. came in at my rescue. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> that indeed. was very nice. Yeah. Oh, now Landmark is, is back on the road. How does yeah. it feel to be performing again? Love it. I yeah. love it. And it's like being a child again. <laughs> and it, it's so much fun. We, we do. We go down to behaviours of debauchery with um, the yeah. things that we say to each other and the, and the coach when we're travelling. Yeah. Um, and it's brilliant fun. Okay. It's great. And it, it, it's, yeah, you're like kindred spirits, you know what I mean? It, it's nice. really good fun. And it's great to be practising your art. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. It's really nice, yeah. And have the fans yeah. get a chance to see. Oh, yeah. the magic happening yeah. on stage again. Yeah, yeah. and it yeah. seems the feedback's been really good. Okay, well, yeah, we just great. want more people to come out. Of Don't course. be scared to come out because it's really come good. Come out, get this album, definitely, <laughs> yeah, please, very important. Play it, play it. Beautiful <laughs> album, yeah, I, I, I really love it very much. <laughs> Oh, is it 
really? Yes, yeah. I, I love it very Seems much. Seems to be a lot of people. I think so too. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. I don't know why it is. It's pretty. Yes, it is. You know, and we need a bit more pretty and a bit more sexy talk. We shouldn't be too scared of it. That's true. Because it defines the other tracks as well. Do you know yeah. what I mean? And yeah. a little bit. So I think that's why it's that's great. And that that personal universe is actually. Um, Steve's baby, he brought it to the table, okay. you know, and, I, and he, he must have got Alzheimer's three quarters of the way through, you know, so I just took over. Yeah. <laughs> so I just added a bit, but he had that, that the main, the main uh, backbone of the song there, the, yeah. I, the idea that, which the, you know, for the lyrics and melody. So I just kind of muscled in a bit, but yeah, but it's a beautiful song, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's definitely. Lovely. I love performing that one. Oh, fantastic. Thank you very much. It was lovely to have a little chat with you. And you, Marcel. And it's lovely to see you. Yes. And well, and have a great show. Thank and you. And we look forward to seeing you yeah. more often on stage. Oh, thank you. Please come back to I Holland. Want to more I want to more often see you. I will do my best. Yeah, I know you do. I will do. Because yeah. <laughs> we missed you last time, didn't we? Yes. That little Harakas and uh, the venue. Mm, and you know, but this time is great. This time yeah. is fantastic. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I love it all the way. Yeah. So thank you very much. Yeah. You're welcome. All right. Yeah. Until next time. Definitely. Oh, October. Hello. We are starting out in Uden. Of course. On the 25th yeah. in the Bull. Uh, yes, in the Bull. I um, haven't played there for years, um, so yes, the 25th of October our tour starts and we're touring with Silhouette, we're, we're, right, we're coaching it for about a couple of weeks oh, all over cool. Europe somewhere, you know, so yeah, please do come to that. Please well, so that. if you missed October. Landmark in October, you get another chance. No, if you miss that will them be now, the third chance we'll get a chance like in that. October, yes, yes. Yeah, definitely. Yes. Okay, well, yeah. we look forward to that. Thank you yeah. for sharing that. That's a, a little <laughs> bit of a scoop here. <laughs> Recent, uh, yeah, very new news, so, yeah. okay. Yes, that's booked, so that, that one's um, in the bag. Fantastic. That's there, so it's a start, so we're really looking forward to it. I played the ball, must be about 20 years ago or something. Oh, oh okay. my God. Oh, I'm not really very old, honest. I'm really still young. It doesn't show, <laughs> it doesn't show and you don't hear, so, <laughs> all right. Well, thank you very much thank and you. Well, good luck with tonight and with the rest of the tour. Thank you. Thank you.